dear friends of Yesh uh, Gavul, Shalom. I am very happy to be with you this evening because it is an honor for the custody of the Holy Land and for me personally to receive this sign that recognizes the Franciscan's commitment to justice and peace. This torch is the bearer of light and somehow a sign of God's presence. I cannot forget that light is the clothing of God. Where God is present, there is light of life that enlightens and illuminates the arduous journey of a fallen man clothed in a tunic of skin. But initially, clothing of honor or light. Some rabbis also point out that the face of man has a seven optings, as the menorah has seven flames of light. The analogy between the menorah and the face of man suggests that the man is called to be a menorah in the world and for the world, to be the sign and bearer of the presence of the name. His life, therefore, is a call to repair the world, tikkun olam. The same Jesus of Nazareth says that his disciples are the light of the world. And they are called to be a sign of presence and to repair the world. Be compassionate, just as your father is compassionate. Receiving this torch is not only an honor, but also a call to responsibility to dedicate to dedicate one's life to repairing the world. A prisoner of the profound, widespread, and growing injustice. A prisoner of violence and poverty that affects millions of men, women, and children from every continent. With the progressive fading of humanism, we are walking on a road of self-destruction. This self-destruction also deeply touches creation itself. A beautiful exit, indeed a very beautiful exit, from the free word of God, but now ugly to, due to human selfishness, Dedicating one's life to justice and peace means working to repair the world, the human world and the world of creation. The human and natural world cannot be repaired without its dignity and rights being recognized and restored. The dignity and rights of every human being created in the image of God the dignity and rights of the whole creation, which was viewed as very beautiful by the Creator. And I would also say the dignity and the rights of God, who has always been looking after for the main king. Allow me here to recall what Pope Francis says in his letter Laudato Si. The creation's accounts in the book of Genesis contain in their own symbolic and narrative language profound teachings about human existence and its historical reality. They suggest that uh, human life is grounded in three fundamental and closely intertwined relationships with God, with our neighbor, and with the, and with the earth itself. 
According to the Bible, these three vital relationships have been broken, both out outwardly and within us. In this context of celebration of creation and of God, and a renewed commitment on behalf of every human beings, I wish to dedicate this torch above all to my Franciscan brothers who live here in Israel, Palestine, and throughout the Middle East. May their, fa their faithfulness to the mission and their firm constancy in service to their people be blessed and encouraged by each one of us. I dedicate it to them without forgetting all those men and women who hope and work for a more just and therefore more peaceful, peaceful world. We are very grateful for your friendship and support. We also need it. Todaraba.